Hi there, everyone. This is Tina, and this is your message today. And this comes to you on the day of Thursday, November the ninth, twenty twenty-three. And there's just a lot of activity in the air this day. Now you might say, "What is activity? Is an activity usually happening in the air? Is the air silent?" No. Some days the air is very, very. You can say, or the energy, or the entire feel of the planet. Seems to be very, very dull, right? Like you have to, you have to take two steps to find your feet. Let's put it that way. And this day, it's it's absolute opposite. It's saying that use your feet to get somewhere. And so you might have an urgency to want to finish everything, but there's a wonderful, wonderful canopy of light above you, guiding you and motivating you to to get ahead. So go ahead and use that faculty that's that's within you. You might have an, uh, you know, feel like like a child, like you feel innocent again and you feel clear again. Trust that that oh you know am I feeling strange or something? Why why am I feeling so excited all of a sudden? You're not ex- you're not excited all of a sudden. It's because you are receiving the golden white light and merging it into your heart. And that means you have a very clear heart. In fact, be proud of yourself if you can feel that faster than others. And don't compare. Don't start now then, um, you know, that you feel it and I don't. And that, that usually happens also in psychic circles. Don't do that. Just be unique to yourself. The more you do that, then the more charity you actually extend this day the more the abundance will come back towards you. It's just working that way. There's just so much activity happening that the uh, the energy cannot sit still. Let's put it that way. It has to go somewhere. It has to bless someone. Okay. So, the, so trust whatever you're receiving and be very excited about everything. And you will go forward. Definitely you will. Questions you have, places you're stuck, that you stay, say that, oh, all this wonderful activity is happening, but nothing is really going um, good with my back or, or my, my stomach is still hurting or I have problems in the bank and, and I'm not getting a good job. All of that, just push it aside and just look at the wonderful father, the divine father who's come in a most unusual form. And so blessed by the by the Hindu community and by the the Hindu religion, and here he comes forward for all of us this day, and that is Lord Ganeshji. Just look at his image, just for one moment. Give yourself a feel of this father in your own way, because feeling power is again strong this day. Look into his eyes. There's just pure compassion pouring through those eyes. That nothing you've done in the past is remembered. It's all erased. For me, you're my child. Blameless, perfect, deserving. Be ready to receive. That's why he has his hand up. And his hand is giving you complete, perfect balance even with a symbol of balance, even if you don't understand that symbol, just feel it absorbing into your palm, into your heart, into all of your being, all of your chakras, the yantra of perfect balance. And to come so propitiously before Diwali, the ultimate, ultimate form of celebration, For all of us, consider this lucky. He's bringing a luck factor also to your day. And that's there in his lotus, the lotus of luck. Literally, you can invite that. Divine synchronicity, surprises, the unexpected, miracles, whatever you want to call it. It's just up there in the air, ready for you. You just invite it in. And he continues looking at you. Behind him is a huge orb again of abundance. Abundance in every way. And abundance is a very limited term usually. We think of it as just being financial abundance. 
It can be abundance of time, abundance of ideas, abundance of friends, abundance of opportunities, abundance of conversation, whatever form of abundance you want to enhance this day, he will help you because he's literally considered to be that and is that the obstacle remover because his even his image is so unusual right so look at all the wonderful instruments of light he brings to you and the just the pure feeling of love around him within him coming forward through him infinite abundance is assured and even in his third eye is the obstacle remover so for those of you who are visual and always manage to see disaster and manage to see what is going to go wrong see what's going to go right instead this day not just this day but for everything that you envision see it as fulfilled realized intangible reality and you'll feel it too remember the feeling power that is giving you that empower empowerment this day it's going to happen and now you might say why does he have a marking on his nose that marking is telling you that what you're envisioning don't block it and don't put up reasons to fail you're moving and you're moving forward where where are you moving to with the guidance if you follow it literally moment to moment feeling to feeling you're going straight into what is considered the best sweet dish connected with lord ganesh ji and with diwali laddus so you're going and putting your hand and holding that bowl of laddus close to you close to your heart close to your life inviting each one of those laddus as representing one realm of your life and he's and he is definitely blessing you because he's holding it for you how much better can it get so just look for a moment at this image to absorb all of this in it's quite overwhelming right if you're not also culturally aware of this for for indian people it will be easy take a moment infinite abundance absorb those words in obstacles are being removed spiritual support and connections are increasing now the other question that will come up what is the strange thing he's holding in the air this is the obstacle remover you choose in what form or what way you want to remove the obstacles mentally emotionally physically keep on doing this throughout the day it's not a one time event you can say or one time usage many things might keep coming to the surface acknowledge them and remove them i now remove with the power of lord ganesh simple just remove it cut it away it's gone and now what sits on top of your crown is these layers of inspiration that are coming throughout the day in various forms of your life in various ways in your life and for various realms of your life abundance abundance of interaction with others abundance of understanding abundance of compassion
abundance of in, intuitive enhancement or understanding also a different you can say relationship with the universe as a whole with nature your eyes might see the trees very very differently because your eyes have opened to different way of seeing acknowledge that don't get frightened by that that is why they're coming in gentle trickles and different colors and you might say what do the colors represent when it comes as red it's making your passionate nature get revived your fire you can say also your groundedness to earth you will appreciate and be grateful for more and more the everyday life on earth you will not find reasons to complain but reasons in fact to praise to be grateful and to keep on expressing that in some form and you don't always have to express this verbally it can be mentally too it can be best felt in the heart because then it just goes out as vibration through the room or wherever you are you cannot help but smile at everybody right that is contagious go ahead spread smiles it's a good thing to spread so think of it that way and then you might say why why is he wearing all this jewelry he's a lord why does he need so much because he is giving it to you to protect you again wrapped three layers wrapped around the left hand and three layers wrapped around the right hand which you don't see of course it's bending down but again if you see the colors they're very soft this is just to let you feel that you have support within around in every activity you do every word you say whatever decision you make whatever mental activity where you're stuck where you're questioning yourself this day all of these beads will help you the crystalline beads crystalline beads of power so where you feel disempowered or put down or criticized go ahead and use these to just clear it away You don't always have to rage in a battle of good and evil. Sometimes it's just clearing and creating your boundaries and creating your space and just carrying on. So go ahead and do that for yourself this day. And then the other layers under the throat is helping you be careful of the words you speak this day they have a lot of power within them the capacity to attract or the capacity to create more trouble more negativity more aggravation which one sounds better obviously attraction right attraction of what manifestation your heart's desires again because you're working with him he will do the tough part the energetic part of removing the huge so-called stones in front of your path even if you are your own worst enemy he will help you recognize that and remove that and push forward so be prepared and not surprised that you might have to make some really huge decisions this day not that you have to enact them but be aware of where you are but it will help you you will get a sense of upliftment and rising you will not be where you were yesterday if you want to even compare yourself to who you were yesterday and who you are today today will be a brighter day because you've chosen to receive and understand and work and this will also now because he's sending this energy down through a necklace 
going all the way down to his feet. Go through all of your chakra points. Balancing, clearing, aligning. So each one is working together and you feel then a more whole and complete person. Life has more meaning then. Obstacles don't seem so spectacular anymore. And if you see also there are crystalline beads hanging from his crown to his left ear and right ear. That means just all of you has to just be awakened today. Be be aware of what is coming towards you, even through sound. Or you can also enhance this power by prayer, by invocation, by affirmations, even mantra job which will be included in the description for you to enjoy. And I will give you one right now. Just look at his eyes for one moment. And soak this energy in. If you want to also hum along or sing along, go ahead. Do this totally to your comfort level, your comfort zone. It'll have more meaning for you then. Don't ever do anything just because someone tells you. You might just do it out of resentment. That's the worst way to do prayer, actually. Thinking something and feeling another. All of you should be present. Okay? So just enjoy. There's no exam going on here. Just enjoy yourself. Om Gam Ganapate Namaha Om Gam Ganapate Namaha Om Gam Ganapate Namaha Just stay still for a moment. Close your eyes for one moment and a reflection, some thought will come for you, which is your priority right now, which is what Lord wants you to either remove or to invite or both and enjoy this infinite abundance in your life. You're not being denied, you're being given. Trust, just trust whichever form of intuition is enhanced and is working on your behalf right now. That will remain with you and get enhanced throughout the day. Open your eyes and you will feel different. There's more of a golden glow around you and within the room where you are. Just soak this golden glow in whenever you can this day. Just looking at this image and just inviting this golden glow. It's very esoteric, but it'll be enhanced this this day on your behalf. So this is the supreme gift and message that you're supposed to receive. Obstacles are being removed. Spiritual support and connections are increasing. So just enjoy and choose for yourself at least three instruments of light here, three colors of light that have meaning for you and merge them into your chakra points or to help to enhance your intuition. And give yourself, if you have a card deck, A reading for yourself, yes. Not because someone else told you to, 
but because your own heart tells you to. And engage in your old spiritual traditions too. Absolutely honor. Honor your ancestors and divine ones of your family. This is the day to do it. It'll have more meaning and bring more meaning into your life because the abundance will just keep growing. And that glow that you want will definitely emerge from within because your heart center is absolutely an open door, a doorway to all that the Akashic spaces and the divine ones want to bring through. So just trust and do and keep believing. And Ganesh Ji and all of the Divine Ones are with you. You're a winner and that's all you are, a winner. Beautiful, powerful and divine. And this is Tina signing off for now. And this comes from The Keepers of the Light by Kyle Gray. And Kyle can be reached at K-Y-L-E-G-R-A-Y dot co dot U-K. And the lovely artwork here comes from Lily Moses. And Lily can be reached at L-I-L-Y-M-O-S-E-S dot com. So once again, bye. And may, may Lord Ganeshi be able to help you to invite all forms of infinite abundance into your life. You deserve it because you deserve the best and you are the best. Bye for now.